What are you doing? Dancing to your snaps. I was actually trying to get your attention. To get my attention, you can try saying excuse me if you see me or pressing the call bell if you don't. What is a call bell? It is a button above your seat with a person on it. If you press it, you'll hear this sound. And then a light will light up above your seat, letting us know to come and help you. How about to get your attention? I grab you like this instead. Please don't grab me. Never, ever grab me. Why? What happens if I do? I will send you to Jesus. Do you know what I just realized? What? That time my boyfriend of 10 years broke up with me via text message because he said he was in love with my mom. You were there. And that time that I fell off the jet bridge and broke both my legs, you were there, of course. And you were there that time I got food poisoning and diarrhea in front of everyone. Babe, of course I'll be there. That's what friends are for. No, I mean, I think you're bad luck. Don't come near me again. Oh, excuse me. Can I turn off airplane mode so I can post my selfie? No, please keep it on airplane mode. It's just one post. It's not going to hurt anyone. Sir, it's for everyone's safety. Please don't turn it on. Fine. Thank you so much. Sorry. Hi, I saw that you didn't have any headphones, so I brought you some. No, I'm good. They hurt my ears. Oh, okay. Psst. I stole these from first class for you. Just don't tell anyone. No, I'm good. I'm on a diet. You sure? Looking at it makes me want to barf. Okay. Would you like some iced coffee? It's a special brew. Actually, yeah, I would love one. Excellent! Ooh, I actually like my coffee black. Forget it. Hmm. Can you actually try lifting that for me? And can you try reaching that for me? Um, what are you doing? You told me to look for an able bodied passenger. This is not what I meant. <laughs> What happens when you flush the entire roll on a plane? This is my window and I would like to keep this closed, please. Your window is clearly on my side. Actually, it's mostly on my side and I would like to keep it closed. What seems to be the problem here? I want to keep the window open and she wants it closed. I'm just trying to sleep. I would like it closed. Well, how about we keep it open and I'll give you eye shades. And ruin these lashes? Are you going to pay for me to redo them? Or we can keep it closed and you can turn on the reading light. It's my first time flying and I want to see outside. There's nothing out there. It's just clouds. Alrighty then. How about I think about how to solve this and I'll be right back. Seriously, I don't know why you're making such a big deal about this. You can see clouds any t I quit! You know what? There was lots to see. Let's keep this open. Excuse me, it's my first time flying. Do you think you can switch seats with me? It's my first time flying too, so sorry, no. But it's also his first time flying too, so. So what? Well, it's two against one. It's just simple math. Well then, how about you use your simple math to calculate the cost of my seat upgrade, compensation for my booking early services, and the emotional damage you're causing me right now. Pay me back and you can have this seat. Ma'am, you need to sit down, please. This person stole my dog's seat. What? And ch Can I have a Coke, please? For the 10th time. Of course. Oh, um, can I have some ice in it? I didn't ask for ice before, but okay. Um, can I have a blanket, please? Of course. Here you go. Oh, and also a pillow. Yeah. Get that for you. 
Are these peanuts gluten free? Let me look at the packaging for you. Yeah, it says it's gluten free. Can I get some special brownies or some edibles? How did you get past security? Hey, I'm trying to sleep and the engines are so loud. Could you just turn them off? <sighs> Where did everyone go? trying to go down the slide with it. I'm ready, review. You will hear from me. You will hear from me. Ma'am, please, this is taking too long. The more things you bring, the longer this will take. Please think of the person behind you. I don't want to waste it. Hey, how much longer is it going to be? It's getting really hot on here. Checking in? Yes, just me and the baby. Okay, so for your baby, it'll be an extra $300. Oh no, she doesn't need her own seat. She'll be sitting on my lap. I know, it'll still be $300. I thought babies under two fly for free. They do. The $300 is a service fee and taxes. The airfare is free. Wow. I'll be right back. Checking in for one, please. A stranger waved at me today, so obviously I waved back, only to realize she wasn't waving at me, she was waving at someone else. So obviously I just kept waving. I waved until a taxi finally picked me up and made my way to the airport, where I got on the next flight available and jumped off the plane. I believe I can fly, I believe I can... God, oh my god, just going into labor! Is there a doctor on board? Really? No doctors? Uh, well, if there's no doctors, I'm a gardener. I don't think that helps. Well, we create life. You should have seen the 12 pound cucumber I pulled out my garden yesterday. Yeah, no. No, no, a gardener should not be delivering this baby. It should be me, an Amazon delivery driver. Thank you, but that's not what we need right now. I mean, if she has Amazon Prime, I can deliver the baby same day guarantee. That's not the type of delivery we need right now. Anyone else? If there's anyone else that's more qualified to get this baby out, it's me. Are you a doctor? Uh, no, but I'm a minor and, you know, I've got experience taking things out of holes, you know what I mean? Please, anyone else? I'm all caught up on 19 seasons of Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, okay. So I'm looking at your resume and it says on here that you could speak Korean? Yes, I put that on there because I could speak Korean depending on what you're offering. Can I get some more information on that? We offer a dollar more for Korean speakers. And is that negotiable? No, I'm sorry, it's not negotiable. That's been the going rate for a while now. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I only speak a little bit to Korean. I mean, I could go up to 150. Oh, for one dollar fifty, I could do speak Korean. 조금 할수 있습니다. Okay, I see what's going on here. Look, we really need a Korean speaker, so I'm willing to go up to 250. 아이고, 언제 시작할까요? Excuse me, can you please put up my luggage for me? I could help you put it up. Could you just do it for me? I have a bad back and it's too heavy and I can't lift it. I also have a bad back. If it's too heavy for you, it's too heavy for me. I thought it was your job to do this for me. My job is to assist you with your luggage, so I'll do that right now. How? Let me just write you up a luggage tag and you can pick your luggage up at baggage claim. <laughs> no, thank you. I got it. I'm sorry, sir. It is not your turn to board yet. Why not? On your boarding pass, you'll see group or zone with a letter or number. Please wait until we call that and then you can board. How come he gets to board? He's sitting in first class. He paid more so he can board first. What about her? Well, she's in a wheelchair, so she needs assistance and therefore can board first. What about them? They're a family with children who need more time so they can board first. I see. 
Hey kid, can I be your dad for two seconds and I'll give you some candy? Perfect! Excuse me? Hi, is everything okay? There's a creep behind me that keeps staring at me. Did he say something to you? No, he just keeps staring. You know, maybe he's just staring forward and it just looks like he's staring at you? I don't think so. All right, uh, let me just see what's going on. Thank you. Excuse me, sir, is everything okay? No, the creep in front of me keeps staring back at me. Please wait, I'm on that flight! Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am, the gate is closed now. You'll need to catch the next flight. No, please, I have to be on that flight. I'm so sorry, there's nothing I can do. Oh, I swear, I have the worst luck in the world. I'm a good person. I try to do everything right, and still the universe screws me over. You know, I even came to the airport four hours early, and security decides to detain me for no reason except for the fact they thought I was someone else, and I missed my flight, and it's not even my fault. Let me book you on to the next flight, okay? Yeah, whatever. Oh, can you make sure I get the same seat, though? I paid extra for that. 26A, it was the window and then the emergency row. Of course, your next flight is in six hours. <gasps> Hi, sweetie. What are you doing here? Where's your mom? <gasps> My mom is sleeping in the back of the plane. Okay, well, you shouldn't be here, so let me take you back, okay? Okay. Oh, are you hungry? <gasps> yeah. Okay, when I take you back to your mom, I'll have the nice flight attendants give you a snack. But they just have peanuts back there. Can I have those snacks? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. These snacks are reserved. It's okay. Nothing could ever happen on my birthday anyways. It's your birthday? Yes. Happy birthday, honey, but we really need to go back to your mom, okay? Okay. Excuse me, ma'am, I found your daughter over in first class. <sighs> oh, oh, so, so sorry, uh, I was sleeping. Also, don't tell anyone, but happy birthday. <gasps> thank you. Oh, oh, thank, thank you very much. Yeah, this thing is not on. It will be in 240 days. Is there anyone sitting in the middle seat? Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, never mind. Sorry for bothering you. Hi, is anyone sitting there? Are you gonna be a new side friend? We can be best friends if we want. Miss Rachel, we play with my toys. Yeah, we can be my best friend. Excuse me, is that middle seat taken? Attack! <laughs> Actually, I think I see another seat. Thank you, though. Ladies, you eat the gum? Oma! Where? You should eat lots of gum. It's good for you. Oh my god. I have lots of gum. You take home, okay? Oma, you can't use the Korean word for this in front of my non Korean friends. Oh, where? Because it sounds like you're saying. Ooh! With the following passenger, please make yourself known to any crew member. Fuk. Oh. 
Hello, my friend. It's the fuck back. That's me. Fuck back. Miss, I think you're in my seat. Oh, yes. Uh, I need the extra leg space because of a medical condition. Do you mind sitting in my seat, 30B? I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm actually traveling with my family and we reserve the seat. I have a medical condition. I need the seat. Sir, I need you to keep moving. You're holding up the boarding process. I'm so sorry, but this lady's in my seat. Ma'am, can you please go back to your assigned seat? I will help you after. You want me to be in pain for the entire flight? You know what? It's okay. It's okay. I I'll go sit in your seat. Sir, that was really sweet of you. You know you didn't have to do that, right? Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Here, enjoy these first class goodies. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Could I get one of those snacks? No. Ma'am, this area is for first class passengers only. Oh, I, I just want to use the toilet. The other one has a long line. I'm so sorry about that. They actually pay a premium so that they can use those toilets. Oh, okay. I say hello to my friend in first class. Hmm? Ma'am, I know you're the same lady from before, just with glasses and with probably one of the worst Korean accents I've ever heard. Jeez, I'm cute. Oh, I hurt my back. I need to lie down. Can you let me lie down in there? You dropped a 20. Where? Ma'am, please keep your mask on for the entire flight. I recently had knee surgery, so I'm exempt from wearing a mask. Sorry, what? I had a knee surgery? Do you mind showing me where your knee is? What kind of stupid question is that? I just want to confirm something. Here? Oh, thank God. I thought you didn't know what a knee was. That is perfectly fine, ma'am. Your knee is exempt from wearing a mask, but your face still needs one. Hello, welcome aboard. Yes, I know, sweetheart. That's why you need to study in school so you don't end up like that. She's right, sweetie. Make sure you study hard so you don't fly economy like your mom. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you doing? I'm looking for the toilet. That is a door to the outside. The toilet is right over here. Thank you. Uh, that's a wall. Uh, the toilet is a door next to it. Oh. No, no. You, you push. Push the door. No. Push. It won't open. I got it for you. Go ahead. Help, I'm stuck. Hi, can I get a sandwich, please? That'll be $10, please. Thank you. Hi, can I help you with anything? Oh, no, I'm just waiting for the toilet. Just let me know if you need anything, okay? Oh, that's so sweet. I'm actually crew. Don't worry about it. Wait, your crew? Did you pay for lunch? Yeah, I had the sandwich. It was pretty good. No, mm -mm. no, you do not pay on my flight, okay? Here, here's ten dollars. Thank you so much. I would love to be a flight attendant one day. Ew, why? They're like servants in the sky. All they do is give you like peanuts and stuff. Really? <coughs> oh my god, you're choking! Call for me, miss. My friend, my friend is choking. Please do something. Oh, I see. Um, peanuts? Oh, 저녁 시간이네. Yeah. 엄마, 고기 없는 걸 시켜줘. 엄마, you know how to speak English. Can you order it yourself? 영어 잘 못하니까 그렇지. How do you order when I'm not around then? 기집애. 알았어, 엄마 갈게. Oh, hello. Hello, what would you like for your meal? Please, I have a... Lice and no chicken. I want to. Yeah, yeah, chicken. Uh, do you just have anything that doesn't have any meat in it? Oh, are you a vegetarian? No, I am Korean. Okay, mom. <coughs> Excuse me. You so handsome boy. Thank you. You single? Uh, yes. 아이고 잘 됐어. My daughter, she single too. She okay. Kill me. Hello, 
sweetheart. Uh, you shouldn't be here. Where are your parents? <gasps> 안녕하세요, pretty lady. Pretty. Oh, oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Take whatever you want and let's go find your parents. Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry, I found your daughter over in first class and I gave her some snacks. I hope that's okay. Omo, thank you very much. I said no ice. Seriously, you have one job to serve and you can't even get that right. How are you still employed? My apologies, I'll make you another one. And wait another 15 minutes for you to take your time to bring it to me? Forget it. Whatever. Okay. Oh, no, sorry very much. My daughter, oh, say sorry. I'm sorry. What the? <sighs> Hi, sweetie. Yes, Amma. Hello, welcome aboard. Hi. I want to be flight attendant. You do? Yes, because flight attendant so nice and fun and pretty and Bunny! I have cookie for you. You're so cute! Hold on a second, okay? So we're actually overbooked in economy and we were looking for some passengers to upgrade to business. Would you like to go? <gasps> wow! Thank you very much! Jeannie, good job! Yeah. Oh. Mm-mm. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? I'm not sitting next to a child for four hours. It's okay, no problem. She very, very good girl. Uh, no cry. I speak English? Uh, you need to move me. Ma'am, this is a full flight. Can you please sit down? Jinia. Yes, Amma. 저번에 엄마가 하지 말라고 했던 거 지금 해도 돼. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm making ice towels. <gasps> no, 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 no. The standard is hot towels. You cannot give ice towels. It's like a thousand degrees outside. If I give them a hot towel, they're gonna throw it at me. I am the senior on this flight. Follow my orders. Okay. Would you like a towel? Thank you. Oh, this towel's hot. It's like a thousand degrees in here. What the hell's the matter with you? Idiot. The passengers are angry. I just had a great idea. Let's use ice towels. Everybody, ice towels! Bitch. Excuse me, when can I smoke? I'm sorry, sir. There's no smoking on board. No, when the no smoking sign turns off, I can smoke. No, there's no smoking on board. Well, I've smoked before. You mean like 20 years ago? Fine. Then why don't you open the doors and let me smoke outside? Okay. Mmm! Tastes good. What is it? 그렇게 맛있어? Yeah, I like it. 알았어. <laughs> 엄마! I can't eat all this! I think you're in my seat. Do you mind switching seats with my wife? We're on our honeymoon and we want to sit together. So, so that's more... Okay, where's your wife's seat? That's my seat. Thank you. That's an economy. No, I pay for business. Wow. We're on our honeymoon? Can't you show some kindness? Can I please have my seat? What seems to be the problem here? This guy said he was going to switch seats and now he's taking it back. I never said I was going to switch. He said he would switch with me. I actually took a look into your ticket and found out that you got a free upgrade. And now you're trying to steal this passenger's seat. So I'm going to give you two options. One, both of you go to economy. Or two, get off this flight. Rather on your own or through security. No, we're not moving. Security! Can't do this, I'm going to steal! Have a nice day! Hey, are you okay? Which seat was it? Sir? You're trash. What did you say? You're trash. Can't talk to me like that. In your hand. Oh. Hello, 
something to drink? I'll have a double hazelnut latte non-fat, just a little bit of foam. Actually, wait. No foam. I'm sorry, we don't serve that on board, but we do have drip coffee. Well, it seems like she got something. That's a Starbucks? I'm fine with Starbucks. No, she probably got that at the airport. I don't care where you get it from. I don't know how to make this clear to you, but the Starbucks is on the ground at the airport. We're currently in the sky with the birds. Gah! Are you calling me a bird? Huh? Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. Miss. What? Your son keeps kicking the chair in front of him. And? And it's irritating for the passenger sitting there. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Could you tell your son to stop, please? Stop kicking the chair. Miss, he's still doing it? Look, if you want him to stop, you tell him. You want me to educate your child? Whatever, I don't care. I'm just trying to watch a movie. Hi, sweetheart. Do you and your mom want to go skydiving? Uh, no. Uh, hello? There must be some mistake. I always sit in first class and this is economy. Oh, let me see. Um, yeah, it does say you booked an economy ticket, so that's correct. I don't book my own ticket. You should follow up with the person that booked your ticket then. Do you not know who my husband's best friend's son is? I really don't. He's the CEO of No One Gives a Shit Incorporated. I, uh... John Smith? Ma'am, I don't know who he is. <laughs> Breath mint? I left my book back at the airport? I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you can call Lost and Found after we land. Can't you just turn the plane around? Oh, I'm sorry, we can't. We only do that for medical or other emergencies. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> I can't breathe. I think I'm allergic to these crackers. <clears throat> Mary, can you grab the EpiPen? What's up? Uh, EpiPad! Don't worry, miss. It's just a small needle that we jab into the side of your thigh and it'll help you with your allergic reaction. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm good. Hello, lost and found? Yeah, um, I found a baby on the plane. I'm here! You forgot your baby? Forget? No! I left him there on purpose so that I can take my bags to the gate because I can't carry both at the same time. So you left your baby? Yeah. So you left your baby alone? Yes. So you left your baby alone without telling anyone? How many times do I have to say yes? Are you stupid or something? Are you? Can I please get a diaper for my baby? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have diapers on board. You have no diapers? What am I going to do? Um, well, I see another family over there with a baby. I can ask them for you. Maybe they can spare one. You know what? Forget it. I'll figure it out, okay? Can I just get the baby formula now so I can feed my baby? He's getting really hungry. Oh, we, we don't carry baby formula. What? It says meals are included in this flight. Yes, uh, regular meals. What am I supposed to do now? I think we're over at Walmart right now. I can drop you off. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 22, let's go! At restaurants and hotels, people usually tip for great service. So do cabin crew get tips for great service? For Emirates, we're not allowed to receive cash tips. However, we do receive gifts from time to time. I've personally received lots of snacks, perfume, and even a gold bracelet. However, there are exceptions to this no cash tip rule. A colleague of mine had the chance to fly with Sheikh Ahmed bin Said al Maktoum and his family. He ended up tipping the captain, first officer, and the purser, the equivalent of $5,000 USD each, as well as each of the cabin crew, $1,000 cash. And of course they can accept this because, well, he owns Emirates. There's not enough space in this middle seat. Can you please move me? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. We're actually fully booked in economy. Um, uh, unless, uh, any of these passengers want to switch with you. I asked. They said no. I don't understand why I wasn't given a choice. Well, most likely these passengers booked early, so they got to choose their seats first. I see a seat over there in business. Can I just sit there? Uh, you need to pay for business class? You know what? Just get me someone in charge. Okay, uh, let me just go get the purser. Is there a problem here? 
and then that flight attendant over there was just so mean to me. She was so rude. I was like, told her I was claustrophobic, and I just asked if I could sit over in business, and she said, no, and she was just so mean to me. Just... Uh, are you rubbing your eyes with an onion? You're scared of flying? Yeah, it gives me anxiety. <laughs> well, then just don't be scared. What the? <laughs> you guys. He's gonna flying. What was? <laughs> it's so easy. Just like, don't be scared anymore. <laughs> Would you care for any peanuts? Oh, no, I'm allergic to peanuts. Oh, well, maybe if you just keep eating it, you'll get used to it. Attention all passengers. Due to bad weather, our flight has been delayed until further notice. She's a liar. Pardon me? I just spoke to my husband in LA and it's clear skies, sunny. Yes, but there's still over 2,500 miles of weather we need to fly through. That makes no sense. It's sunny here, sunny there. As we fly from New York to LA, there's different types of weather in between. It still doesn't make any sense. I don't know what to say to that, I really don't. I'm so sorry about this, but we've just run out of chicken, so we just have beef left. Oh, of course. Always me. It's always when it's my turn. I'm so sorry. It's really hard to predict what people want and unfortunately everybody wanted chicken today. You need to learn how to do your job properly. Like, how is this fair? How about for the next meal service? I'll let you choose first. Is there chicken in the next meal? No, it's a different meal. Oh my god. You can have my chicken. I didn't touch it. I'll just take the beef. Sir, that's so kind of you. You didn't have to do that. Finally, one decent person on this plane. Excuse me, sir. They actually had some uh, leftover chicken in first class, so I just brought you some. Hello? Why didn't you offer that to me before? Oh, well, that's because you're a bitch. Did you finish with your beverage service? Yes, I did exactly what you said. I served coffee and tea along with uh, cream, fresh milk, sugar, and hold up. We don't have fresh milk. No, we do. I found some in the fridge. From the fr Oh my god, that's breast milk! Cows have breasts? Excuse me, may I please get the milk I stored here earlier? Jinya! <laughs> Yama? Yeah, okay, sure. Oma, you want another massager? That's what you bought this for, and you just bought that? Like, what is this supposed to do? I'm not even gonna ask you what this is for. But I am gonna ask you, what the hell is this? Oh, that's actually kind of cool, but... Oh, but this one is the worst. Are you gonna have a This doesn't look like anything to you? Oh, ma, it looks like a gochu! Oh, shonae. Oh, shonae. Oh, shonae. Oh, shonae. Oh, shonae. Oh, shonae. No. Excuse me, sorry to bother you, but uh, I was just wondering if if you had anywhere that had maybe two empty seats. The seat is um, it's, it's quite small and just it's just really uncomfortable. Oh my goodness, I know these seats are tiny. Um, I don't actually see two free seats, but <coughs> but I know there's an empty seat in business. There's a bit more space there. I'll move you there. Hey, can I sit there too? No. This is my second time asking for a refill. I just need to serve the rest of the passengers on the first drinks, and then right after I'm done, I'll bring you your refill. I don't care. Just get me my drink within the next five minutes, or I'm filing a formal complaint. Hey, lady. Psst. Hey, you're up. Please, it's your turn. I don't think so. I'll give you 15 minutes on my break. Please, I'll give you 30 minutes of mine. Loser does it? Fine. One, two, three, three! Yes! Mother Welcome aboard Flight 813 with service to Vancouver. Oh my god, that passenger in my section is so annoying. Why, what's up? Every single time I bring her an item, she asks for something else. It's like within the last five minutes, I brought her ten items. Hello, there's like other passengers on here. Why can't you ask for it all at once? Oh, sweetie, you need to be slower. That way... They know you take forever, so they're going to ask for it all at once. Sandra, you're the only Korean speaker on board today, so you get to do the announcements. Well, I'm not good with the announcements. You do speak Korean, right? Yes. Excellent! It's really easy, dear. You just need to read this. 
Okay. Hey yo! 你好! 안녕하세요! I'm Korean. That's how you say hello. 你好 is Mandarin. I'm Korean, so it's 안녕하세요. Whatever, lady. 你好! Oh! You were making fun of me! <laughs> that was a good one. That was funny. What is a word in your foreign language that just sounds insanely inappropriate to English speakers? There's a super common word in Korean that if I actually say this, I'll probably get banned. So let me just split it up a bit. Ni ga. We are not saying the N word. We're saying you. 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 I've heard of so many Korean rappers and K pop artists get so much hate for using that word. They're just saying you. Can you please stop coming after us for using that word? Because, like, it's not our fault. Like, we didn't create the language! Could you teach me how to apologize to a Korean passenger again? Of course! How sorry are you? What do you mean? Like, there's different levels of sorry. For example... I'm sorry, but not really. I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Please forgive me. Sorry, boss. I'm sorry I hit you with my car and when you got amnesia that I pretended I was you and stole your money and lover. How I calculate the best seated economy, let's go! The first elimination should be a no-brainer. The middle seats suck. So let's get rid of all the middle seats. The back rows of every section do not recline. So let's get rid of those seats. I'm not a tall person. I don't need these emergency or bulkhead seats. There's also nowhere to store your personal belongings there. They also have those flimsy TVs and tables. For those reasons, I scrapped those seats. Due to weight distribution of the plane, they always fill up the first section first before the last section, which means you have a higher chance of getting a full row or an extra seat in the back. And for those odds, I prefer the back. Seats near a toilet stink like shit. I recommend a five row buffer just to be in the safe zone. But let's just eliminate those rows. The next one is personal preference. I hate asking someone else to move just so I can use the toilet. For that, I eliminate all window. Because meals are typically served front to back, you have a higher chance of getting your meal choice at the front. So now due to process of elimination, we now have my ideal seat choice, which is seat 49, C, D, F, or G. Lindsay! What? Your lipstick needs to be red. Ew, no, I look gross in red. You know it's company standard, change it or you're off this flight. Ugh, fine. Someone give me a red lipstick. Someone give me a red lipstick. Passenger 40C was like rude to me for no reason. Hey, I know, this job is hard sometimes. <laughs> is this funny to you, Lindsay? Hey, I just want to say sorry for being rude to you earlier. What did you say to him? I just told him if he doesn't apologize to you for being an ass, and I'm going to share this photo of him that I found with his pants down on every single screen on this plane. But that's not true. He doesn't know that. Ma'am, do you mind just sitting one row behind? You're on a wheelchair accessible seat and we would really appreciate it. Yeah, no thanks. As you can see, there is a wheelchair passenger who would really appreciate that seat. You should have reserved the seat then. If you move me over to business class, I'll move. What a wonderful idea. Fantastic. Sir, I'm just gonna bring you up to business. Hey, uh, mom's looking for you. Huh? Oh shit. What did you do? Looking for a report card! Right. You're dead. report card Mine's in my jacket. Mm. you literally failed everything! Mine's on the table. Good, 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 good. Oh? Are you going to What? Hey, guys, come to Yeah! Cool. Jennifer, try this kimchi. Miss Kwan, I can't eat spicy food. It's not spicy. That looks really spicy. This kimchi is good for you. You get no GGs and no COVID. Mama, stop making stuff up. 
Oh, I take five hours to make this kimchi. I spent $2,000 for kimchi bridge. And one month marinade and you don't try? Okay, I'll try it. You don't have to eat that. No, it's okay. Wait, eh? This is honestly the worst job. The things that we have to do, seriously. Like, then quit. I need to pay the bills, okay? And stop complaining, because it's annoying. You hate this job too, you never do anything. I love my job, I just choose not to work. What? <laughs> High five! She's driving everyone crazy and she won't listen! Like, where are her parents? Ugh, I got it. Hey kid, want some chocolate? Follow me. You want some? You want some? Yummy. Almost there. So you open the can, pour it in the glass, and then you give it to the passenger. Any questions? Emily! Uh... Yeah, uh, can't we just get the can? Because it seems like kind of waste to put it in another cup. It's just a service standard, Emily. Don't question it. But why do we have to open it when we can just give it to them? Because passengers will put this in their bag and ask for another one and keep stealing more drinks. It's free though, so who cares? Okay, class dismissed. Pilots are so hot. I'm going to try to date one. You don't need to. You're new. They're coming for you. What do you mean? They like the newbies. It's true, you have a smell. Fresh. That can't be true. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Who here has been with a pilot for six months of flying? Be honest. Boy, there you go. Oh my no! Welcome to get. Where? Uh, they're Sandra's vitamins. Yeah, vitamins. To sleep. Carna bice vitamin? Okay, 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 I'm gonna stop, stop. It's weed candy, okay? Marijuana? Oh, shit. How you feeling, Amma? How to be a flight attendant's favorite passenger, part one, let's go! You know how all passengers get a boarding pass? Well, on that boarding pass, you'll see a seat number and letter. Sit there. Thank you. You good? Are you gay? Mama. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. You just need to keep your mask on. Yeah, no thanks. Well, um, you need to keep your mask on, please. I can't breathe. Do you want me to die? No, of course not, but hey, good. Okay. Uh, there's a passenger that's refusing to keep her mask on. What? Okay, let me talk to her. Strategy one, be informative. Excuse me, ma'am. Our airline policies clearly state that all passengers need to wear a face mask for the duration of the flight. Yeah, like I told your little friend earlier, I have a medical condition. I can't breathe, so I don't need to wear a mask, okay? I'm sorry to hear that. May I please see your doctor's note? I don't need a doctor to tell me I can't breathe. I'm telling you that I have difficulty breathing. When you first booked your ticket and when you checked in for this flight, you knew about our policies. You want to talk about policy? Your company made me take the, the vaccine and now the government is tracking me everywhere I go. That's what you guys made me do, and now you want me to wear a mask? That doesn't even make any sense. Nobody forced you to get the vaccine, man. We just require a mask. Especially Jack, and God knows what. See, I'm vaccinated. Uh, that's a boba stamp card. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm vaccinated, so I can't get COVID. I can't give any of you guys COVID, so just like, leave me alone. Uh, yeah, she won't listen to me either. Guys, come on, didn't you pay attention in training? I got this. Strategy two, ultimate customer service. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh my God, what? Well, 
first like to apologize that we are making you wear these masks. I know they are so uncomfortable. I, I hate them so much as well. I can barely breathe in it as well. But unfortunately, this is our company policy and we are just doing our job. And I would really appreciate it if you could just wear your mask just for the next couple hours. Can you please? No. Oh no. That didn't work. Ugh. Amateurs, I got it. Strategy three threat. Hey lady, put on your mask. Excuse me? I said, put on your mask now. You can't talk to me like that. You disrespect my colleagues? Absolutely I can talk to you like that. Children behave better than you. That's embarrassing. Oh wow, and now you're comparing me to a child? That would be a compliment for you. Now put on your mask. Or what? What are you going to do? You're going to strap me to my chair? Force me to wear this mask like an animal? Yeah, I've seen YouTube. I know what you guys do. Mm -hmm. That is an option, but that seems like a lot of work for me. I'm going to give you one more opportunity to wear your mask. Eh? Off. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a gold member? Wow, thank you so much for being a loyal customer for our airline. We really appreciate it. And as a loyal customer, why am I stuck here in economy and not automatically upgraded to business class? Oh, yes, we do provide complimentary upgrades to our gold members, uh, but it is based on availability. And unfortunately, today is a full flight. Is that right? Well, let's check the official website then, shall we? Oh, well, look at this. Gold members automatically qualify for a complimentary upgrade. <gasps> and uh, if you just keep reading, it does say right there, based on availability. Oh my God, this airline is trash. Uh, I'll be more than happy to bring you some snacks from business. What would make me happy is a better seat, not some crummy pretzels in a bag. Well then, our patio seating just opened up if you're interested. Did you see that viral clip on the news where that guy got duct taped to his chair on his flight? This happened on Frontier Airlines. Yes, I saw. That was such an unfortunate event. I know, right? Poor passenger. I know! Poor- What? Yeah, they treated him like an animal. Taping him to his chair, taping his mouth so he can't talk. My God. Brutal. You do realize that he sexually assaulted and punched the flight attendants and was a threat to other passengers, right? Oh, seriously, this world is so sensitive nowadays. Like he was just drunk, these things can happen. So what you're saying right now is that if you're drunk, you get a free pass for this sort of violent behavior? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Everybody on this plane sucks. You suck. F you, pal. <gasps> Sir, you need to calm down. You're causing a disturbance on this flight. Hey, you can't tell me what to do. My parents are worth two million dollars. Sir, there's literally no benefit for you to be flexing your parents' two million dollars. Are you joking? You can't even buy a house in LA for that. Why are you sitting in the economy, bro? Oh my god, shut up! Hey, lady. F you. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. Did these feel nice to you? Ah! Oh, hell no. Chip, chip, chill out. Come on, come on. 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 Come
어? 누구야? 어, 엄마 아는 사람이야. 야, 좋게 인사해. 오케이. 어, 안녕하세요. 어머, 이게 누구야? 아이고, 오랜만이에요. 아이고, 진짜 오랜만이네. 딸미가 왜 이렇게 예뻐? 너무 젊어졌어요. 아니야. <웃음> 어, 근데 내가 늦어서 가야 되거든. 우리 다음에 커피 한잔 하자. 저는 좋죠. 연락해 주세요. 예. 네, 네. 예. 안녕히 가세요. 엄마, that was your friend? 아니. 엄마 그 사람 너무 싫어. 어우. Welcome. Good morrow, my lady. Okay. That was weird. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Is that thing real? Why, yes. Tis a real sword. How did you get that on the plane? Ye lords, at ye gate, let thy through. Oh, my God. Of course they put the crazy lady in my section. <sighs> I don't think so, lady. Stop with the lies. I tell ye truth. Okay, why would you bring a sword on the plane? A lady must always protect thyself in case of any danger. We ain't living in no renaissance times, okay? You know what? I don't even care. Just don't hurt anybody, okay? Hey, watch this. Hey! Why, you want more? Hey, crazy lady. Yes, my lady? You want to trade? Check out that flight attendant. She's cute. She's okay. She's checking you out right now. She's not looking at you. She's just looking Shh, at the plane. She's kind. Would you like a snack? Yes, please. Thank you. Sick! What did I tell you? We all get that. I'm gonna ask her out. Yeah, I mean, go for it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> you know what? I saw this one TikTok of this guy picking up flight attendant with a note. I'm gonna do that. You know what? I'll bet you 20 bucks she's gonna say yes. Fine. You're wrong. <laughs> Will you go on a date with me? Yes or no? Get ready to pay up because this is golden. And oh, oh, here she comes. Excuse me, miss. I just have something for you. Thank you. Trash. Any more trash? Trash. Thank you. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I mean, if you just want to tell me what you're looking for, I can help you find- Please don't touch anything. Sorry. Sorry. Do you have an electric toothbrush anywhere? No. An electric shaver, perhaps? No. Maybe a microphone? N no. Immersion blender. I don't even know what that is. Or maybe a remote control car, but instead of a car, it's an eggplant? Huh? Do you have any battery operated device? Battery. Oh, yeah. If you open up that little pouch, I have my vibrator. <laughs> Ma'am, that is illegal in our country. Excuse me, why? Please go see that officer over there. Am I going to jail? What it's like to invest in crypto. Am I going to upgrade your seat? No freaking way. This is amazing. Welcome to business class, Mrs. Lee. Uh, I, no, I'm not Mrs. Lee. My apologies. Let me take you to your correct seat. This is a joke, right? You're um, joking. No, we don't guarantee well, anything, so... Can I get my original seat back? No, but... Trust me, just stay there and I'll find something better for you. Holy crap. I'm in first class. Yeah. I'm in first class! Ma'am, your seat are through these doors. What the fuck? Ma'am, is there anything at all that I can do to help your child feel more comfortable? 
is she in pain? Um, I have some coloring books, uh, snacks, you name it, anything you want. Oh no, she, she just has behavioral issues. She's throwing a tantrum because she wants to watch Coco Melon. I have an iPad. I'll lend it to you and I'll uh, give you free Wi-Fi so you can watch Coco Melon. No, it's okay. She needs to learn that she can't get whatever she wants by throwing tantrums like this. Will she eventually stop crying soon? Probably not until she gets a Coco Melon. Hmm? It's an eight-hour flight with over 400 people. Would it be okay, please, if you could just make an exception just this one time? Absolutely not. I don't even know why you're making such a big deal out of this. Like, everyone's watching the movie anyways. Okay, all right, but can you please just have her stop jumping on the chair and kicking the seat in front of her? Listen, she's just a child, okay? Children act this way. This is what they do. Everybody should understand that you can't control a child. Excuse me, do you think you just watch her for a second? I'm just going to run to the toilet. Of course. your seat to someplace more comfortable. Please follow me. Oh, great. You're almost there, right this way. You need to wear your mask for the entire flight. Oh, I'm vaccinated, so I don't need my mask. Uh, let me get my vaccination card. That's wonderful, uh, but unfortunately, our airline still- You're not hearing me. I'm vaccinated. I just can't find my card right now, but you... I can prove it. I can prove it. It's, it's our policy, ma'am. You need to wear a- huh? Found it. I'll prove it. Wait. Uh, just give me, give me one second here. Um, what are you doing? You know, when, you know, when you're vaccinated, you're, you're magnetized. Just give me a second. It works. I don't know what you're doing, but can you please stop and just wear your mask? If it doesn't work, I'll wear the mask, okay? Just, just hold on. Just hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Crap. Are you okay? Oh, I just have a stomachache. I, I think it was the burrito. I do. I should have had the cheese. Babe, you don't look so good. <laughs> Call for help! Excuse me, can you help us, please? Hello, what can I help you with? My insides feel like they're pounding. <laughs> Let me go get some help. We have a medical emergency, please. Is there a doctor on board? I'm a doctor. I'm just going to check your vitals, okay? wrong i'm going to need you to take your pants off but my, my pants you're going into labor lady lady you're psycho i'm not pregnant you're having a baby right now posh posh congratulations it's a boy you had no idea you were pregnant no had no idea I was Am I still married? I just assumed he was staying with Tobias. Do you know where this new place is? Do you have an address? I'm sorry, I don't. He definitely wasn't staying with Tobias, so that I know for sure. Keto, thank you. That is disgusting. Are you new or something? I've never seen you before. Yes, this is my first shift. First shift? Wow, exciting! Would you be a doll and take this to the passenger sitting in 13C? 13C, okay. 
Okay. But we don't have row 13. saying that you gave the cream puff to the passenger in 13C? Yes, I gave it to 13C! <laughs> There's something really loud in this plane and it's giving me a headache. Could you please figure out what it is? I don't know, it could be the engines or something and just do something about it? I, I could give you earplugs if you'd like. No, 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 I have my own earplugs. I can still hear it. The sound is actually the engines. So, okay, so then can you tell the captain to turn it off? What are you looking at? Pay attention! <laughs> Boop. Hey, captain! So, there's a passenger complaining that the engines are too loud. Can you please turn him off? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Ah! Tales from the skies. Let's go. Which country are we flying over right now? Ma'am, we're going from LA to New York. Yeah, I know. The cities are both in the United States. So... So we're flying over the United States. Oh. Psst. What? Is she new? Shoe? Yeah, she's new. Initiation? Oh. Initiation. Hey, it's your turn to check the air quality in each cabin and then make sure to give it to the captain, okay? Check the air quality and give it to the captain. Okay! Hi, Captain. I have the air quality sample for you. What? Oma! Oma! Perfect for this. Let's grab it. Excuse me, ma'am. Eh? Uh, we're, we're doing street magic right now. Can I show you something? Ma magic? Can I borrow your ring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, magic trick. Magic oh. trick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Keep a handkerchief here. We'll place your ring inside. Watch your ring vanish. Now, completely gone. Hmm. Sweetie, so I'm gonna take you back to your mom, okay? But it's nicer here. I know. I'm so sorry, honey. I really need to take you back to your mom. I guess I'll never get to sit in the nice part of the plane before I die. Pardon me? I found out I'm dying. Oh my god. Um, sweetie, uh, just stay here for just a moment, okay? Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, oh, 
Can you please grab your things? I'll be moving you to first class. Oh, oh, uh, oh, okay. Hi, Emma. Oh, oh, we really hope that you both enjoy the rest of your flight. And if you need anything, anything at all, just let us know, okay? Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. 어떻게 된 거야? I told them I was dying. What? You're not dying? We all gotta die sometime. All right, so the total comes to $82.66. 80 bucks? I just got two things. Okay, um, I don't know. I'll just get, I'll just get this one then, thanks. Okay, so your total comes to $2,185.25. Okay, let me just check my purse. Um, I, don't, I don't think I have enough money. Well, you do have like 10 of these. They're very similar. Did you just want to take some of these out? Um, are you stupid or something? Those are all different. How do you even work here? I'm sorry, I was just trying to help. So then, how would you like to pay for this? Mom, I need your wallet! These are the top six filthiest areas of the airplane. And you won't believe what the last one is. First up, the overhead bins. I've never seen it cleaned once and it's touched by literally everyone. So maybe after you grab your neck pillow and before you use it, give it a little bit of wipe down. Next is our safety instruction card. This is touched by everyone so you can imagine how dirty this is. Actually, wait a second. Maybe I should remove this off the list because let's be real, I know none of you guys read this. It's actually probably so clean. Tray tables. Not used for meals, apparently. People use it as a footrest. And some parents like to change diapers on these bad boys. Airplane seats. Sure, they're clean. But the type of cleaning needed to actually clean these seats aren't done. I feel like you just need to, like, throw these away. You would be surprised how many people like to use the regular seats as toilet seats. Speaking of toilets, the toilet doors. I know some of you don't wash your hands. So that means more urine and feces are smeared on these doors. Now the absolute most vile and filthiest area on the plane is your <laughs> So use more toilet paper. Bye. Uh, oh. <laughs> Gentlemen, please, there is no fighting allowed on the plane. Please use your words and not your fists. <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> man. I got <laughs> you. Gentlemen, my apologies. Please use nice words and talk it through like mature adults that you are. Children are watching. I'm sorry, but your snoring was so loud. It was interrupting my sleep. My apologies, sir. It's beyond my control. I suffer from sleep apnea. What a beautiful way to communicate. Since I don't have a cure for sleep apnea, how about I offer you some earplugs? Are they free? Yes, most airlines have them and they are free. You just need to ask a flight attendant. Great, that solves our problem. I hope you learned something valuable from this. Uh-huh, you mother You're my spicy margarita, babe. <gasps> Good afternoon, Mr. Derulo. How can I assist you? How do I recline my seat? To recline your seat will be $100, or you can sign my shoe. I don't think you're supposed to ask me that. If you look on the back of your boarding pass, it says right here under terms and conditions. This is kind of crazy. Can I at least get a blanket? It's cold in here. Certainly, sir. That'll be $500. Or you can just sing me a part of your latest song. You know how much you get paid for a show? You're my spicy margarita, baby. Voice of an angel, sir. Can I also get something to eat? That'll be $1,000. Or you can take me out on a date when we land. Now you're just making shit up. I would never do that. It says right here on the menu. There's no way I'm doing it. If you don't want to follow the rules, you need to get off the plane. Girl, you crazy. Couldn't even wait for the rule. Good evening, ma'am. Can I offer you something to snack on? I've noticed both you and your husband had nothing to eat. Oh, no, thank you. And I don't want to wake up my husband. He's just had a really long week. Uh, I'm not hungry, but I am cold, though. Can I please get another blanket? Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Are you sure maybe you want something warm to drink? I'm actually okay, but could you grab a green tea with milk and sugar for my husband when he wakes up though? 
Certainly, of course. Hey, just so you know, the passengers in 12 A and B had nothing to eat or drink this entire time. Oh, that gentleman? Yeah, the purchase said not to wake him. Oh, really? Okay, well, the wife, though, is awake and she hasn't had anything to eat either. Oh, someone was sitting next to him? I didn't notice. Yeah, the lady next to him is his wife. You're finally awake! Your wife actually asked me to bring you that green tea. What do you mean, my wife? Your wife? Uh, I guess she went to the lavatories. Did you put milk and sugar in my green tea? Yes, I'm sorry, is that incorrect? Uh, your wife is the one that told me to do that for you. My wife passed away last week. I'm taking her home on this flight. I'm sorry, uh, there, there was a lady that was sitting next to you. She said she was your wife and not to wake you up because you had a long week and to bring you a green tea when you do wake up and she was cold, she was chilly. So I gave her a blanket. She's in cargo, but I believe you. This is how I drink my green tea. And I, I think she's just worried about me. That's so sweet. So sweet. Excuse me, please sit down and put on your seatbelt until we're at the gate and the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Why? We have landed. Yes, but we are still moving and it is not safe but we are moving so slow. It is still dangerous. I just need to get off first so I can catch my next flight. Standing up will not help you get off the plane first. Oh! I guess I was wrong, you do get off first. Gentlemen, my deepest apologies, but due to a mix up, I'll need to move you over to economy class to accommodate one of our VVVIP artists and her dog. <laughs> No, that's impossible. We are VVVIP artists. What? What you talking about? Well, she's actually a record-breaking artist. Well, is she a five-time Grammy-winning, 75 million record-selling global international superstar? Yeah, I mean, does she sell 250 million records around the world? I think not. Well, uh, she actually has a single that went 11 time platinum with over 17 billion streams. What? Who is this? Excuse me, boys, I think you're in our seat. Who are you? Have you guys heard of Baby Shark? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan. I, I, I've streamed you at least a billion times myself. Oh my God, Baby Shark? Yes, I love Baby Shark. Oh my God, okay. Excuse me, I would like to report some suspicious activity. Okay. I saw a passenger steal things from the plane and put it under his jacket. I don't know what he stole, but I just wanted to let you know. Not again. <gasps> Hey, you! I know you're not sleeping. Woke me up from my beauty sleep. Someone saw you steal things from the plane. Cough it up. Fine, you caught me. Oh, these are free. You won't get in trouble for that. Coffee's also free, right? The coffee's free, but not the coffee maker! <laughs> How did you even get this? Blankets are free, right? So that means jackets are too? You can't take that! That's for emergencies only! Well, this is free, right? Because he gave them to me. <gasps> Not free? Did anyone lose a dog? What's this? Am I in trouble? Yeah. You're going to jail. Find everything you need today? Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. No. Everything okay, ma'am? Uh, it's just that you've only scanned a few items and it's already 60 bucks. Uh, I'm so scared. Okay, I'm a trained professional, ma'am. I've scanned a lot of groceries. I need you to stay with me. It's just that my in-laws are in town and they want a charcuterie board. Well, this isn't going to be easy, so I need you to be brave, all right? What's your name? Patricia. Patricia, all right. I need you to take a deep breath. We're about to do the cheese. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, sweetie, put your shoes back on. It's so dirty. No, it's only dirty outside. I know this looks like inside, but we're actually outside. Huh? I don't get it. Well, you have to wear shoes outside, right? Yeah, because doggy pee pee poo poo on the floor. Well, people pee pee poo poo on the floor on the plane. Yeah. There's a reason why I'm getting the f off and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two f but I am telling you right now, that mother that mother back there is not real. And you can sit on this plane and you can die with them or not. I'm not going to. Everyone.
everyone, do not panic. It's just condensation from the plane. It's totally normal. It should stop any time now. See? It stopped. <laughs> Everything is just fine. It's just fine. It's just fine. Larry, who just airdropped a whole flight photos of his peepee. next to you guys we've done an extensive study here at southwest and we found out that gucci louis vuitton kate spade michael kors Dolce cabana prada bags coach bags chanel bags and dooney and Burt, they can fit underneath the seats in front of you and if they were real you wouldn't be blind southwest to begin with so <laughs> don't start none there won't be none and allowing for the passenger on top of you to also recline and not invade your personal space.